you're watching the G2Poker.com TV tournament series with me, Laura Cornelius, and Paul Simbler. We're heading to the final table of this week's 3,000 euro guaranteed tournament, but with both our bounties busted, we won't be among the triumphant 10 this week. Let's see who is. First through fourth are lording it over the rest as we join the table, with Loisat Poy a good 100,000 below the elite in fifth. Recurring royalty, only skill and your fugly have arrived somewhat downtrodden and will be scrapping against King Heiko and JT in the gutter if they want to climb up the ranks. Let's get the action underway. Blinds of two and a half thousand, five thousand. Five sevens, aces, wow, it's all go and ace queen. What? Five should be folding this. Yeah, good fold. Sevens with that stack can afford to open. Um, you, I, I don't know if I would have folded those fives. Nothing's yeah, with that stack size, just you're never in a good spot with fives. To give you an idea, pocket queens under the gun, the favourite to lose. So fives are definitely no good. All right. So we've got six four. It's in the bin. Well, aces has made a huge overbet. Yeah, and only um, left themselves twenty thousand. Well, ace queen's going to call this. I'm pretty sure. There you go. He has called. He's in the small blind. He's only got a bit of money, um, and sevens can just get away. Yeah, it's a great, that's a great play by Joe, Joker Nordux. Um, and it's aces v ace queen. Oh, you're a fugly. This is Dan. This is a player I know. I actually know what happens here. <laughs> Jack two four. Aces are going to hold. Three five. No, <laughs> that would be sick. Well, runner runner would have even been sicker there. Aces are held. His ace queen is not going to get through. Well, he's done nothing wrong. He's in the small blind. It's been open. It's been raised. He's getting great value for his money. That's the second time, in fact, he's made the final table, and he's only played this t twice as well. So well, well done. He's done pretty well. You're f ugly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's from Mean Girls, Fugly. Have you seen that film, Mean no. Girls? <laughs> it's a, Is it's it the prison? No, it's with Lindsay Lohan. It's oh, a silly, like, no. teen oh, yeah. thing. But, you know, going back to that hand, the fives and the sevens played perfectly there. No, no need to get busy with fives in early position. With that stack size, sevens had the stack size to open. The problem is if you open and you get three bet, you're going to fold a lot, which he did. We could see he was against a better hand. So Nina Nugget made the final table. Yeah. So that was our first player to lose from the final table, your fugly, and uh, that was a 75 euro prize payout. This is just blind on blind. Blind on blind. He's made it up. <laughs> We're going to see a flop. 10-5 is checked. See, I would have read a lot. I definitely would have shoved with a 4-3 with that stack size. Um, and if the guy in the small blind with only like seven big blinds limped, I would set them all in. Because it shows extreme weakness. King Heiko. And he's a man with a plan. He was going to limp and see a flop. He knows his opponent doesn't have an ace. Yeah, it's a fold. And it's an easy steal. Well played, King Hiko. King Jack, King Ten, they should be in the bin. King Jack under the gun. King Queen should be shipping all in. Oh, it's a raise. It's a min raise. Might get it through. Probably Might not. Might do, it looks against strong. Twos. twos. Well, twos, twos are in a spot where they know if they shove. I like the all in from the King Queen here. Because the min raise in early position could mean a, a medium to, to strong or weak ace or a small pocket pair. Um, but pocket twos, if it came round to them, he knows that he's probably going to get called and he's only ever in a flip at best. Mm -hmm. So whether he would put it in with twos there or not, or wait to ladder, I don't know. What would you do? It just depends on my given <laughs> state at the time. Yeah, I don't like twos, I have to say. I, I normally fold twos. Whatever. Yeah, no. This this uh, this King Jack play is. I mean, we can see the, you can tell by results. I mean, this isn't just results orientated. If if you open and call three bets, Ooh, um, there's the Jack. you're going to get yourself in a world of pain all the time, and does not deserve to win this pot at all. But he does win. That's yeah. poker. And JT very unlucky. We lose JT in. We lose JT in. Ninth. Ninth for 90 euros, though. Pays the electricity bill to play the computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the internet bill. And the internet <laughs> bill and the, and the sky bill. And, <laughs> uh, 
Well, here we go. Queen's under the gun. Whoa, tens, queens, jacks. I'm sure we had a hand like this the other week. Yeah. I like them in rays. He's got 15 big blinds. He doesn't just want to open ship. Yogi's now going to three bet. 30,900. King Hiko is definitely not folding what we've seen of his play so far, but should do. Ooh. Wow, great fold. He's seen an open under the gun for a min raise, three bet from the button, and discipline has seen King him fold. King Hiko is going to be loving this when he sees those queens. He will indeed. Unless he sees a jack on the floor. That would be pretty, pretty, pretty brutal. No jack, no two jack. sixes. It's a 10 and only a 10. And there it is. And the queens win the hand. So that's a pot of over 183,000. They're going to Lois at Poise. And King Heko passing himself on the back. Well done. Good fold of the jacks. I'm surprised about the fold, though, by the way he was playing earlier. Or did King Hiko make a good fold before? Even my memory goes. Oh, Ace King. He's pretty feisty in the early stages of the tournament, aggression wise. Don't like the limp. Because there aren't that, that many players shoving light that we've seen. So he, ra he min raised with King Jack under the gun and he flat calls with Ace King under the gun. Yeah, that doesn't make so sense. If we look for the pattern, he's lucky he's found a player behind with a hand. Who's done absolutely nothing wrong? Um, he's got ace jacks, been limped. There's extra six thousand in the pot as far as he's concerned, and he's stuck another sixty thousand in, and he's going to get snapped. Easy call. Pretty standard stuff. It's only skill, but now it's luck. Can only needed. skill hit that jack? No. Spades are no good either. He needs an eight or a three for a chop, and it's not to be. Not to be. Ace King takes it. 132. Oh, that was a nice pot. Ah, uh, yeah, eighth place for 112 euros 50. Leaving seven on our final table. Must and be nice to get aces on the button. Yeah, and with Zinty Boy to our chip leader at this table. Blinds and I, three and a half thousand and seven thousand. Um, uh, Loi Sat Poi is just praying someone put some chips in. Yogi uh. is, oh, Yogi's all in. Nice rub of the hands. <laughs> yeah, well, moving all in's pretty standard with Ace King. He doesn't want to open and allow someone to make a move on him. The re raise to protect his hand and. Yogi is not in great shape, as we can see. No. But we're talking about internet poker. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. What's going to happen? Ooh, well, there's a king. It's a start. You've got to start with one before Another you king. get two. Another king. Oh, nearly. Oh, if only he had ace-10, ten. Ten, eh? Yeah. <laughs> or ace-nine. Seventh place. Uh, well, the money's jumping steadily now. Seventh place is 142 euros 50. <laughs> So four have fallen and our players now have at least 180 euros waiting for them. That wait will be a little bit longer as we're going for a break now, but join us again in a few minutes for more from the G2 Poker TV Tournament Series.